Good afternoon everybody, it's me Paddy from Across the Shock and you're very welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to do a video of this beautiful knife, which is the Textile Turn Bear. A lot of people pronounce it differently, but I believe Bear is the, the, the way it's pronounced. It's the name of a little town. Um, so, what is this knife? This is a, an EDC little piece of perfection to be honest with you and i know that's straight in with it but it is a fantastic knife it's literally a quarter of an inch thick which is half of the regular size of a um you know a locking knife let's say and this is slip joint lovely thin backspacer there but it's strong enough for what it needs to do and the more i have used it if you look at this and go back to my original video of it or some of the videos you've seen that this the um spine of the knife here was sitting up with well, this was sitting up proud uh, here and it was sitting a little bit proud here look at that now it has literally just worked its way in I, I don't know how it's done it i've done nothing to this knife except for add a little drop of oil and work it a wee bit and then after a period of time i've added another little drop of oil and it seems to have not taken it away because you can hear that i could just catch it with my nail but it is only just. I don't know how that works. No idea. The centering. Much better than it was when I first got it. Not much better. It wasn't that off. It's only a wee skin, skinny channel. So, But it's much better than it was when I got it. I can't explain it. No, no explanation other than just use. And whether that just sorted it out. Maybe a little bit of grit. Things like that. I haven't taken it apart. There's no need to. It's a slip joint. I just, you know, as I say, clean it out. Blow it out. Do whatever. Bit of oil in it. Work it through. Um... So I, I'm so pleased at that. Now, again, it's not perfect. And it's an expensive Now We'll talk about the price. It was £200 to buy here in the UK. I think it's about $200 in America. Maybe you can get it a bit cheaper now. It's been out a while. Uh, and if you can get it cheaper, get it in the secondary market. I would highly, highly recommend you get this. And here's, here's why. Um, did I say what size it was? It is three and three quarters long closed which is just super. I really, I can get a full four fingers in this handle. But if you look at the milling, which Textile Turn, uh, if you don't know, they make pens, they made pens for years, and they've just stepped into the um, making sli um, slip joints and locking knives, and they're all with a slim, the milling is really kept just absolutely stunning. I mean, it, now, it's not over grippy, but it's better than just a smooth surface. It's lovely. For a nail nick here, there's these two little uh, long pulls, <laughs> one long, one short pull, in place of a nail nick, which is modernised. And a, a lot of people didn't like it because they couldn't get their nails into it properly. I can and have good, strong nails, but I don't even do that. What I pinch here, if you see on the other side, there's nothing. So if I pinch here and pull, it comes out. It's about a six on the opening, locks up just beautifully. And there you have tactile and on the other side you just have the blade steel which is the steel of the minute magna cut right 200 pound remember the price of that knife 200 pound um over here in the uk again it's going to be cheaper in dollars even over in the states but that's what we have to pay for it and um, isn't that just a beautiful clip point a high saver grind clip point uh, stone washed just hides all the marks you wouldn't believe i've had this for six months and used it and i use this i have had this this last three weeks this has been on my belt uh with a belt carry and i'll show that in a minute and explain why because it's only a light knife you don't need a belt knife or a belt carry but it's perfect for me i've had this on me for three weeks solid now used it for everything i've carried other knives but this has been my in-use knife one because of the handliness of putting it on a belt which i just it's been mind-blowing to me it's changed my whole thought process in my slip joints i'm just going to start buying different sheaths but this is just fantastic look at how thin that blade is i mean it's just so thin it's scary an absolute delight to slice with and do anything and especially tougher stuff it just goes through material just fantastic i can't see any better this is some paper I was doing the other day. This is thinner than telephone paper. It's just really, really cheap. Look at this. You would hardly hear that going through it. Um, I haven't sharpened it. I haven't needed to. Or have I sharpened this? 
I might have actually sharpened this. I'm looking at this and saying, no, yes, I have sharpened it. Must have been ready at the beginning. I must have put a, a really keen edge on it. It's it's beautiful, whatever it is. I didn't realise to sharpen it, but I have. And I think I took this down to, I think it must have been 15 degrees, because that's quite a big bevel for a, a, you know, for a little knife. But anyhow, God, I've forgotten all about that. And now that I'm saying it, I can remember doing it. I've done it along with my, um, I'll show you it in a minute, my Chris Reeves had done that. So it's about 15 degrees behind the edge. <laughs> Let me tell you, it is amazing. Uh, sorry, I sharpened it at 15 degrees per side. It is just stupendous little knife. Incredibly lightweight. This is 1.86. Remember that? Uh, 1.86. It's got a blade length of two and three quarters. Just a fantastic, perfect EDC. And that's the full blade from the the end of the, the handle here. So let me just get this. I'll try not to just throw it down. There we go. She's sitting in there. Just lovely. Um, but I'm not saying that. There's nothing to stop you doing that. There's no blade wrap or anything in this knife whatsoever. No blade wrap whatsoever. It doesn't sound particularly wonderful. But it's a modern slip joint. It's not going to sound like a, a, a proper slip joint. So really really happy with that as a knife now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you some of my knives that i now have in this titanium bracket this this bracket of higher end knives but first i want to show you its competitor and this will maybe just show you what it's like this is the benchmade bug out okay look at that can you see that there's maybe two millimeters in the cutting edge a little bit longer on the Benchmade bug out. Thinner blade, granted, but look how thin the stock is in that. Look how e more easy this is going to go through any sort of medium, the thinness of that blade stock, which is fantastic. And literally, there's the, the cutting edge is maybe two millimetres difference in size. So that's fantastic. This weighs 1.8. So that's about half a gram heavier than the bug out this over here costs about for the basic model about 170 i think if i'm right about 170 pounds so it's 30 pound less than this that's got titanium handles it's got a blade length that's roughly the same it weighs roughly the same construction wise that's solid this um the the bug out when you're buying just a basic model you know you can move it yep they brought new ones out there but the charging for it, that's what I'm saying, you're up to about £170 charging for a plastic handle and S30V. Titanium uh, Maximate. Not Maximate. Um, oh, I keep forgetting the name of this blooming stuff. MagnaCut. <laughs> MagnaCut, which is the buzzword as Ross Forest Steel goes. It's fantastic. And the one thing that I want to say about this, I have been honestly using this. Um, I did sharpen it. Uh, quite a few months ago but i haven't done anything else but strop it and i think that's what i was trying to get to i have only just dropped this after i put that edge on it and again i've carried this for three weeks solid i've carried it lots of other times but this period leading up to this review it's been three weeks solid for everything i have used this knife it's amazing it is just holds an edge beyond belief and when i say strop it usually about three or four swipes either side it's back to complete that that sharpness that will cut this super thin paper and you would hardly hear it sorry i didn't show that right there i mean when you can go through paper this thin and there's next to no sound of it you know you've got a sharp blade in your hand and that's the way it stayed the whole time that i've carried it and all the use literally at the end of the night a little strop and it's back to full sharpness again so I'm really, really pleased with it. I suppose you can tell I'm, I'm gushing. And I am because, yes, it had a few little imperfections and they're still there. You know, it's not completely perfect. But as far as a working EDC knife, it is. It, look, I'm sorry. It beats this completely hands down. Completely hands down. It, it is much easier. It's lighter in the pocket. Yeah, you know, obviously you've got to put a sheath on top of that. This has got the, the um, pocket clip. But... If you're used to being a slip, a slip joint man, this is an absolute no-brainer. It really is. When, when you can, I don't know, when you can have a knife in your pocket that just weighs nothing, that, that has a, a 
just a geometry for cutting that is beyond anything I've ever had in a slim knife. It's just fantastic. So some of the other knives I've got in my collection that I really do like, and they're, they're, they're comparators to this. Let's just go through them. Here's another. Now, these are all locking knives now. Um, this is the Wii um, Elementum. The Wii Elementum, which is fantastic. Great steel. This is 20 CV, I believe. I'm not sure. I think it's 20 CV, titanium, frame lock. Just a lovely little knife. Lovely blade. But look at that. The cutting angle is exactly the same. You have a little bit longer of a handle, but I feel I fit on that more comfortably. I, I this this is a thing this handle I can fit full four fingers spread out on there and it's so well chamfered all the way around it's incredibly comfortable when you're using it for a period of time this is all chamfered it's beautiful but I'm really squeezing to get my last finger on that now it doesn't bother me this is a little small EDC knife so it's perfect so there's one the next one I've got here is my Cherbakov and I want this is a much bigger knife as you can see but look at the blade length different at the end of this. There's not much difference in blade length. Now, this is a fatter blade, obviously. This is all titanium like this. But when you get that, there, it's literally what quarter of an inch maybe difference. Um, but a big difference in, in knife size. And this is a beautiful knife. Absolutely love this. This is M390 in this one. Um, just a stunning knife going to close this up because I'll stab myself I'm just leaving them here the next one is my favorite titanium knife oh come on Stephen this is my Chris Reeves and again I'm going to bring this down and just show you there's the difference that's exactly the same cutting edge as the Chris Reeves small 31 exactly the same but when you turn it over look at the difference in thickness the geometry on this one is so much nicer so much thinner I should say so much thinner perfect uh, lighter version of this in my eyes now this is a flat grind and um, this is a hollow grind this is a heavier working knife but you know it's still that titanium all right it's got wooden on the out it's got wood on the outside but it's a titanium knife and I love it and it's you know sort of over twice the price of this so you're getting something different and not that that's a a slander in either one of the two of them this is worth the extra money to me and then we have my new and absolutely stunning Herman knives which I'm going to try and get in every video that makes sense to you I'm just going to show you it there's the Herman knives the blade steel and the bear is bigger in the blade steel but you've got a more robust and this is a powdered steel this absolutely powdered steel not just a you know a, a mixture of so many metals this is powdered uh, Dama steel look at that there it's just I just love it you know for looks at the milling if you look at the milling on that and then the milling on this they are both perfectly milled this is much finer but this is just perfectly milled there's not an imperfection on either especially this one this is just everything is right about this even the small points that are on this but you're paying a big premium for that but when you look at them side by side there's not that much difference in size in these two. And again, this is a more comfortable handle. Even, the, you know, I get more, I get my forefinger. Yes, it's on this little rounded bit, but it's very comfortable. And it's even better than what's on the, the Wii. Although, again, I love that Wii. It's a fantastic knife. So there you go. Long-term review, would I recommend you getting it? Look, if you're spending this much money on a plastic handle with S30V, that's maybe 30, 40 pounds cheaper than this. I'm sorry, but it's just gone. Benchmade, where are you at? You know, MagnaCut Titanium S30V plastic, and you're charging nearly as much as this. Shame on you. Shame on you. That, to me, that is a real shame that, that, that they've had to go that low because this knife beats it hands down. Again, it's American made, so you can't say it's China made. That's American made. Um, and they can do it. Why can't Benchmade? Because people buy this knife. And then they go and put titanium handles on it at an expense of maybe another hundred dollars or maybe a little bit less but they do that they change so many things about it there's nothing to change on this this knife is bought and if you want a light edc to throw in your pocket honestly just hands down hands down a much better choice 
uh, this is not going anywhere in my collection. I love the fact that if you want a little light knife like this, I mean, this is the sort of thing that in your suit pocket, you could drop that into your top pocket of your suit, have that inside, and it'll be easy just to lift out if you need it. Completely at your hand or anywhere. Just in a, the little flat pocket at the side. It's not going to bulge out or stick out or let people know. And if you want to, put it in a sheath. And that's the second part of this. What's made this even nicer for me and made me want to carry it for three weeks solid is this this was a little sheath i had lying about it's from dark arch leather over here in the uk um it's even got my little crest on it look at that it's a little skinny tight sheath and i really didn't have a knife that i'd i'd wanted to put in it up until i got this and it was only a few weeks ago i found this and i thought oh i wonder what that would be like that is just like a glove right and it sits there and I can pull it out. This knife is completely UK legal. So I don't have to hide it. I don't have to do it. It can sit on my belt. It's well under three inches right up to the bolster. And it is in there so securely. It's beautiful. And it, it actually comes with this little lanyard. So it's the perfect thing. Look at that on the side of your belt. It just, you don't feel it. I don't feel it at all. And I put it towards the back of myself uh, behind the, the loop before you go to the, the last uh not the last, the middle loop at the back of your jeans. And it's, honestly, I'm going to carry it like that forever. It is just, and this is going to ride, because it's such a good knife for so many things, that I can carry, um, you know, I can carry this knife with me in my pocket that I want to show off. And, and you know, because that's what it is. This is a show-off knife. This is just basically a very good EDC knife. So is this, but I'm not going to use it for what I will use this with. Um, there's nothing I wouldn't take on with this, EDC-wise. You know, nothing. So there you are. I don't know what you think of it. I'm now going. To, I'm going to try and order a blue one of these uh, with the flap over on it. But Dark Arts Leather, I highly recommend him. He does some fantastic work. Look at the stitching on that. That is perfectly a real good piece of leather, nice and slim, especially for this. So if you do go over to him, just mention the. Uh, you're going to put a bear in it, so you want it quite tight and a slim knife. Do you want to give you the measurements of that? It says it's four inch. It's four inch, so you want a four inch by uh, four inch by one and five eighths for the bear. Four inch by one and five inch with a fold over, you know, belt sheath. I just think that is super, and it has made all the difference to this beautiful little knife. So there you go. Uh, I went on a wee bit long there, but a lot to say about this knife. You know, it is such a perfect EDC for me. Um, probably one of the best EDC knives I've ever used and carried and sharpened once, which I'd forgotten about, but only had to stop it ever since then. Okay, Paddy's away. Thank you very much for listening. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Bye bye.